what is going on guys so today I'm gonna be cleaning up uh, the transmission I got this over here in the engine hoist and I actually put the motor on the uh, on the engine stand this is the clutch I mean the uh, that's the clutch and that's flywheel, pressure plate, most kind of bad. Some heat spots. Anyways, I'm gonna start with cleaning this mess up. Get this taken care of. I'm actually wearing gloves now. And then uh, clean off the trans and motor. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, disassemble this in a little bit. So, let's get to it. Picked up the cardboard. Uh, threw some dirt on the oil, let it soak up for a little while, and I'll just pressure wash that off. Got the engine out here. Gonna spray some purple power on it, and then do the same thing with the transmission. See if I can set up a time lapse. Hopefully, this phone doesn't overheat this time. And then we'll also uh, um, clean up the bay a little bit. So this is also what I was thinking. So instead of buying this six bolt, what I think I'm gonna do, cause I found like six, a uh, thousand bucks, uh, transmission, six bolt, ECU, wiring harness, all that stuff. <clears throat> but I'm still gonna wanna do the same thing I wanna do this motor is take it apart, new head gasket, valve cover gasket, oil pan gasket, you know, all that stuff. So I was thinking, gonna save the 500 bucks probably get a um wait till i find a uh, transmission do head studs head gasket valve cover oil pan you know everything to get this motor ready <clears throat> for when i want to i'm not going to build this or anything i'm just going to do the head studs and the head gasket and whatnot <clears throat> do all that it's going to be a simple build not shooting for huge numbers shooting for like 400 450 it's reliable like my last one was 350 <clears throat> and then i couldn't get it retuned because problems kept happening but this one i want done right and then not crazy because i still want to be able to use this more than a couple times but uh yeah i think 400 is a good number 450 and uh yeah so let me see if i could time lapse this and uh get with it Cleaned it up. Uh, uh, pretty nice. So I was also going over the thoughts of uh, putting the fuse box in the glove box, but it's kind of way too much work, and then it kind of becomes a hassle when things go wrong, finding the wires and whatnot. But um, definitely gonna clean up the wiring harnesses, like tape this all up. Not sure why I got untaped. Uh, just make sure this is all nice and good with the uh, black tape and everything. So yeah, there was a lot of axle grease on. Right there, and then right there. So I think they've been uh, going on bad for a while. This car is stupid low. And uh, yeah, so also I was thinking about, you know, painting this, and I think I'm going to. Just because, you know, it looks kind of rough right now. I don't know if I'm gonna do black or red or what color I'm gonna do, but um, I kind of like the black and red theme. So leave your uh, thoughts on that in the comments below if you have an opinion. I'm gonna go ahead and bring these into the shade in the garage and then start disassembling. I don't really care about the transmission yet, but eventually I'm gonna tear this down to see if the center diff is really blown. Uh, feels like it, like uh, you could hear something in there when uh, sometimes they bind up together, sometimes they just totally spin freely and whatnot. Um, so I'll tear it down another time. But this, I'm gonna tear this down and get this uh, nice down to a short block. So today I'm just gonna take off the intake, exhaust and turbo, uh, drain the oil, take off the head maybe. We'll see. 
that. There's no point in taking everything off, I don't think, just yet. But, uh, set up a little time lapse, hopefully, and uh, we'll see. All right, so there's really nowhere for me to put a um, put the camera up. I don't have a tripod yet, but I'm definitely getting one for these time lapses. So my apologies, but um, yeah. So I got the intake off. A little bit dirty. I'm gonna go ahead and take the exhaust manifold off, and then uh, take the head off. I'll take the valve cover off, head bolts, all that shit. Let's get to it. All right. So turbo and exhaust manifolds off. Best things you could ever buy. Um, not much to say about it. It's pretty easy to take off. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the valve cover now. And, uh, yeah, get this thing off real quick. See what it looks like. Oh, and I also drained the oil. There's so much fluid in there. It's not all oil. That's coolant, training fluid, oil, everything. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. But, uh, yeah, it's starting to... Sound look broken down. I like it. All right, so valve covers off. 12 point, uh, 12 millimeter, 12 point socket. Get the head, head bolts out of there. Can the hedge come off? Cool, let's get to it. All right, so the head's off. There's some water in here. I think it's from when I pressure washed maybe. Who knows? But um, head gas looks good. Doesn't look uh, blown out or anything. That's good. Um, here's the head. Let me see if I can flip it over for you one second. So the valves don't look too bad. These look a little crusty. Uh, valve seals are probably bad, so probably rebuild the head a little bit. Uh, just do the valve seals and whatnot. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much it. Cylinder walls look good. I'm not a machinist, so I don't fucking know what I'm looking at really. But there's not any huge scoring or anything. But uh, that's pretty much it for today's video. I made a big mess. Gonna clean it up. And I uh, just figured I'd tear this down. Now I'm gonna get a parts list together and uh, start saving up that moolah. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I know it wasn't any time lapses or anything. I'm gonna work on getting a tripod so I can set this up and you can actually see me do the work versus just uh, getting updates because I like to see work being done as well. I don't like to just see updates. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.